Where he hell? Where he hell? What's going on? The time has come to bid farewell to Japan. Oh my god. 58 days in Japan, guys. God, yeah. like. But anyways, maybe, yeah, anyways, today is going to be a travel day. So we are flying back to Canada. So it's Osaka to Vancouver, Vancouver to Toronto. Yes. So yeah, we have two rather long flights. We've just finished cleaning out the apartment, yeah. you know, tidying up. And something to mention is that we're in Kyoto. So we have to catch two yes, trains to right. get to the airport. First, we yeah. have to get from Kyoto to Osaka. And then from basically downtown Osaka to the to airport. Kansai. Kansai, which is on an island. <laughs> And, then and it's hot outside. there is, yeah, it's going to be 38 degrees with, and it, that's like the, without the yeah, humidity. It feels like temperature is in the mid 40s, and we have to lug all of our stuff. We're dreading it. We're actually dressed kind of ridiculously. Oh, we have an action plan. Yeah. So I'm wearing like the, the skimpiest shorts I own and yeah. like a really baggy shirt. Sam's wearing like, yeah, check out what here. I'm wearing. So, so I'm, the plan I'm literally is, I'm going for a jog. Yeah. The plan is to get super sweaty in this, yeah. and once we get to the airport, we've got outfits that we can change into. Yeah, we're gonna be like Superman, changing into our yeah. flying attire. And I also have like wet towels, like baby wipes almost, yeah. to like. And I have a huge, <laughs> wipe off the huge sweat. thing of water in the day pack. Yeah. That I'm breaking. So yeah, it's gonna be a hot and sticky affair. Yeah. But let's get started. Let's go. You could just imagine the beads of sweat running down my everything. Oh, right Sam, now. we can see them. Yeah. We can see them. Well, let's, let's show your shirt. Do you want to pat pat your shirt? Look at that. And hopefully, that was the hardest part because I'm assuming that there's going to be air conditioning on this train and that once we get into the next station, it'll be air conditioned a little bit. So, hopefully, that's the hardest part. But yeah, drenched in sweat. Osaka station. Osaka. That was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty air, con quick. air conditioned ride. Yes. Nice scenery along the way. I'm not as sweaty as I thought I would be. That's always lovely. And we're also really fortunate in the sense that we're still on the JR line, meaning yes. we do not have to exit and transfer. No scanning out. So yeah, there's a sign that says Osaka Loop Line. Yep. So we're going to get on that train next and that goes straight to the airport. Perfect. And that's going to be direct. Yeah. Yes. We'll let you know the price when we arrive. Made it to Kansai sure International did. Airport. Yeah, that took, let's see what time it is. It is 1.19. We left the house just before 11 o'clock. So yeah. that took a little over two hours. Yeah. The train ride was 1,880 yen. So about 16, 17 US dollars in total, which is Not really good bad. value and considering how we came all the way from we Kyoto. We covered a lot of ground. We covered a lot of ground. Sure. And now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a snatch a card out of your hand. We have yes. a Suica card. Over there is a machine, and we're gonna try to see if we can get reimbursed. I think we might get 500 yen, yeah, plus, plus the value the that's still 
which is I think we have 500 on. So we might get yeah. a thousand yen, ten That's bucks. That's enough money for lunch. Sure is. Update. We are going to have some lunch. Yes. Actually, I should mention about the card. We were all excited about getting our refund, and they're like, "Sorry for your card. You can only get a refund in Tokyo." And yeah. We're like, this what? week, we this week here. card is specific to Tokyo. Yeah. We've been lucky that we've been able to use it for transport. Yeah. But there's no okay. refund over here. But I'm super confused because we bought it in Osaka. Or no. No, we bought in Tokyo. Bought in Tokyo. They use an IO. I think it's an IO card in Osaka. Wow. Anyways. Anyways, yeah, so we're not getting any money back for that. Yeah. Um, but they have a whole bunch of restaurants here at the airport on the second and third floor. Yeah. And they have set menus for around 10 bucks. And you get like a lot of food. I know. So, yeah. Pretty excited for the food portion. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh, the portions are huge. Huge. So I've got myself curry noodles. Look at that. Look how thick that curry is. Look how thick those udon noodles are. Over here, we have pork cutlet with a bed of rice underneath. This is some egg. Ooh, that looks like the same one that I got. Yeah, I think we have the exact same one. And then I ordered a side of tempura, and again, they, they outdid themselves. Like, look how much there is. Some so, shrimp, some veg. Yeah, I'm gonna try Where it. Where will he begin? Curry noodle. Curry udon, I should say. I think this is our first time having curried udon. Oh my gosh, that curry is so good. This is the kind of curry you get like with a tonkatsu. It's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Oh yeah. You know what? This dipped in the curry sauce for the whim. And last but not least, I've got a shrimp tempura. So you gotta try this tempura. It's, it's really good. What did you get? I'm buying some presents for friends and family. These are mochi balls flavored like sakura, yeah. cherry blossom. So yeah. All right, made it to Vancouver and we're gonna have some hamburgers. Flight. Um, yeah, I got a Vera's burger. I've never tried this before. This Vera's? Is Canadian Vera's burger. This is Canadian food. This is called the Canuck burger. It and technically, with... I'd like to mention that we're boarding in 10 minutes and this guy was like, I need food. I do. Ooh. I do. Look at that. That looks like a really good burger. Wow. It's called the Canuck Reminiscent burger. Reminiscent of bacon. Shake Shack, I'd say. Those I toppings. Hope it, if it tastes that good, I could Welcome back to Canada with Z hamburger. Really burger. That'll do. That'll do. Hey. From Toronto. 
We landed an hour ago and we still have no bags and they've just made an announcement to let us know. There's like some type of mechanical problem in the cargo hold and they can't open it. <laughs> and like our bags <laughs> are stuck in there. So, so there's like so many people waiting around and yeah, my mom and my sister are already outside driving in loops waiting for us so they don't have to pay for parking. So yeah, I hope they get that sorted soon. I have nice souvenirs and gifts to share with people. And yeah, and uh, <laughs> I think we'll end things off with some clips of the dog as we always do. Yes. Every Togo. time we come back home, we show you clips of Togo. So more of that once we get home. I'm a sleepy spaghetti. Boo -doo -doo -boo -boo. I'm so sleepy. Thank you.